everyone, Merrix here, bringing you another video. This one is actually going to be my Finn Balor. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with a strap for him yet. So I'm going to show you what he can do against a 6-star strapless. He's kind of like Corbin a little bit. Um, the moveset I'm using is triple yellow. 2 to Gras, Shotgun Dropkick, Abdominal Stretch. Abdominal Stretch? I can say that. Uh, finisher, deal 267k damage, make 8 random countdowns into Protect of strength 88k. The drop kick is 5 MP, 137k damage, choose a 4x7 area to make into 2 turn countdown gems. That will deal 53k bonus damage for every Protect gem. This ends up actually being massive. In the ab abdominal stretch, the 5 MP yellow sub, 8 gems into yellow, 187k damage, 3 turns. Uh, remaining turn into protect gems of strength 99k. The entourage for this one, uh, I'm going with a double yellow thing. This would start turn one in feud. Oscar is not max, so only 65% more damage. Cena for yellow gem damage. R Truth on the yellow finisher, and Drew for one more turn on the sub. Um, no strap. I'm gonna go against Strapped Undertaker, Hall of Fame, uh, six star versus six star. I think you're gonna find that uh, Balor is very impressive. I'm going to run a couple matches with this so you, can, you guys can see I'm not cherry picking stuff. Uh, best thing to do this 4x7 is pick an area that you're likely to get your yellow matches like so. I'll run it in 1.25 since that's what most of us have for few. You can see all my moves are full and the temptation would be to hit the sub again you don't want to do that keep an eye on taker's health he's gonna kick out here hopefully not take out too many of our protect or countdown gems that are left you're gonna kick out first try that's not a big deal so he's got 12 million health and is gonna get a wild card that lets him wreck more of my board so that's annoying because uh, the wild card, but it is what it is. Getting pinned is fine. We'll still do our damage. You can see he did one damage. We did two million even after he wrecked most of our stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go now on this side. But we've still taken like literally no damage. And I'm not... Don't have a strap equipped. We'll get into strap talk a little bit later and what I'm thinking about doing. Um, no big deal. Uh, I lost all of my sub gems. I don't care. I don't care if he hits me. It doesn't matter. In fact, to a point, that'll do us a favor. Even though we only have two protect gems now, uh, it'll just do the damage for us right away. So he's at 9.9 .9 million. All the way down to 7 million. And this has been a very bad uh, run with it. Just FYI. Taker got a 5 match. Uh, we didn't get all of our sub turns in on one of them, so this has by no means been a good run. And I don't think he'll kick out of this one, to be honest. And in fact, he will not. That's with no strap with things not going well. Nothing crazy trainer-wise, obviously nothing cra crazy metal-wise, and nothing crazy plate-wise. Uh, I'll run this a couple times because I want you guys to see that I'm not, you know, trying to make him look better than he is. I really think he's kind of one that uh, slipped under the, slipped through the cracks. That is a lot better than people think. It's 
all about letting the countdown gems do the work for you. So in some cases, maybe it might be difficult for some people to decide when they should do what move, I suppose. Uh, that's possibly an issue. Starting out, you're almost always going to want to hit the finish or second turn, even if they're loaded. You want to get this first cycle through protects on the board. That's kind of your goal. It's not really to hit a big monster, um, whatever. And you can see it's not. it didn't work out. He took out most of our gems, so I'm fine. We're going to turn these to protect gems. Not a big deal. I don't like splitting it. I don't like splitting the screen, and I'm probably going to lose protect gems. Gems, normally I like keeping it on one side. This worked out fine. But typically I don't like splitting the screen. The board, rather. Now we want to keep our protect gems. He's probably that good. So instead of hitting the finisher this time, I'm just going to swipe. Um... Now he's at 10 million health. Watch this. All the way down to 6. Um, and then you just keep going. Everything's filled up again. We hit the finisher. Uh, he's not kicking out. Oh, even better. This is fantastic, actually. Getting pinned with this is the best thing ever. Watch, he's at 5.2 million health. He's gone now. All the way down to 176k. So that hit for 5 mil. So, the getting pinned is, like, perfect with the build set. Especially once you get a couple protect gems on the board. That's what we did with only five protect gems uh, out. So I'll run it one more time. Um, you guys are getting a pretty good idea of what this is like. And then I'll talk about some of my ideas, thoughts, uh, plans for him. He's very different. He's almost like Corbin, except with protect gems and countdowns instead of botches and traps. our odds of yellow matches. Almost impossible to miss when it's like this. It is very possible to miss your stuff um, like that, or to, to lose your sub gems, but again, I don't really care. He's a showboat with a ton of health. Um, I'm good with it. We're going to lose our gems here. No protects on the board, so it's not going to do any damage. That's fine. And I could hit the sub here, and I probably should. I think in this situation, it'd be nice to hit the finisher, get protects out. He's not going to do too much, but it'll probably wipe most of our board. I'm going to go ahead and hit the sub. Which did not pay off. Now we have three protects on the board. And 
I'm gonna go ahead and hit the finisher. A lot of protects. You can see we did, what was that, like, 4 million? Possibly something like that. We're gonna end up covering up some of our protect gems here. Um, what's the best way to put this one? Not a best way. Eight, five, two. All right, so this one, I'm taking a spike. for zero damage, say goodbye to the rest of his life, pretty much more than enough to uh, pin him once we kick out. That was probably the worst one yet, to be honest. I'm actually going to run a fourth. Oh, wow. Alright, I guess he did kick out. I should have done that differently. I didn't think he would. Uh, here I go, um, predicting things, saying more than enough, and stuff like that, and everybody who watches me knows I should never do that, because the end result is almost always what should happen. And again, this is no strat. Like, so, it's kind of crazy to me that he works this well. With nothing? slick. I just really like it. Hard to explain, I think, maybe. Uh, I liked him when I played him, but I don't think, uh, previewed him, but I don't think I had six stars to go against, so I was curious what this would look like against six stars. Maybe I did, I don't remember. Either way, I feel like there was no buzz around him. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run one more, crank it up to two times speed. Uh, cause I felt like this is worse than average. What I've shown you so far is worse than average for how he's been playing, cause I wanna say I played, like, matches with him this way last night um, and I think this is worth worse than average and then uh, in a little bit I just wanted people to see what he could do without anything special um, I'm gonna decide on a strap and I will do a video on him what I end up doing which uh, we'll kind of talk about strap options when we're out of this match here Because I'm, I'm still uncertain, actually, of what I want to do. So I wouldn't mind getting you guys' input back. Uh, definitely going to ask stream today. I'm going to play this on stream. Um, hitting the finisher here, getting our protects out. See, that that's perfect situation, really, to start. Um, that's how it should go. Maybe not perfect, but that's right or good. Um, we're going to do a bunch of damage there. We took it way, way down. We have a ton of protect gems on the board. Um... Yeah, down to 7 million already. Get our match here. We'll get even better if he does a mini cascade and pins us. You can see the pin bar's always moving the wrong way, which is great for us in this situation. And, um, boy, I have a lot of protect gems. I'm just swiping here. And then hitting the finisher here after this wipes him out. Boom. Gone. So that's more, more, that's like a good one. Definitely a good one. It's like two cycles and done like that. And that's with nothing. Um, so that's good. I think that's a good representation. We had a good one, bad one. 
medium and maybe two medium ones. Uh, not quite two medium ones. That was good. I've had it work better, but that one was really good. Uh, the one before was bad. So overall, I think we're at a good average now. All right, so Valor. Strap options. Here's kind of my thoughts. You could go gem damage, right? And he could kick out easier, certainly. Also, if you went gem damage, triple purple is certainly a thing. Um, especially the other thing about Balor, showdown link with the judgment day starts with blues charged, uh, which starts the stun charged. Uh, you could use a purple matchy match trainer. So stun, swipe, go into all that, um, sort of thing. Uh, I don't like him in front for judgment day simply because his blue set isn't his best. Like I would use Dom in front, um, instead, uh, and him behind, uh, for the link or priest in front him behind and then same thing you know uh just get to the tag with Rhea or if Rhea's in front tag Rhea in so I love the fact that he's got the judgment day showdown link that's huge um and he has gem damage build as well like I said he's got the stun build gem damage build he's got countdown stuff could come in handy for boss battle there um I'm saying um a lot by the way apologies so straps my thoughts are I don't know if you guys saw uh whip it in in showdown had a bradshaw apa bradshaw at six star and he had 27 million health so i'm kind of toying around with the idea of putting a health strap on him and then vitality metals move damage yellow uh, vitality metals and seeing how much i can boost his hp uh because obviously getting to that threshold of like 50% would be very hard and then he's going to be really annoying for people to face plus I have fun using him right so that's one thing I might do the other thing I might do is go full armor build with him uh, because the protect gems are pretty big in fact I've kept uh, I kept taker down at 5 million health 6 million health a few times with no strap in his protect gem so armor builds another option I don't think I have a great one Armor wise, actually, what's Gable have? I would probably steal Gables if I go that route. Um, why do I not see his strap? Who knows? Anyway, and then the other option is move damage because you're using all those yellow moves. Um, the other option is certainly move damage. So I'm trying to decide do I want to do. There's Gable. Do I want to do Vitality? You can see I have Gable set up that way for boss battle. Uh, do I want to go like a move damage like on Woods? Uh, you could go gem damage as well because he's breaking the yellows, help with kick out. So really, this is one that's up in the air for me on how to strap and metal him. Normally I'm confident of picking and going and choosing and going that route. I'm kind of leaning towards the vitality or the armor build uh, with him. So anyway, I, I thought this build was impressive. So I wanted to show you guys without a strap before I end up choosing a strap. So you could see for yourselves. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed this video. What do you think about Showboat Balor? If you have them six star, how do you have them set up? Uh, and how's it working out for you? And remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there.